We'll now talk about one of the most important concepts in database systems, referential integrity. It's a very simple concept that states that the record referencing another record in another table must always refer to an existing record. In other words, a record in table A cannot point to a record in table B that doesn't exist. Referential integrity is a constraint that always concerns two tables and is enforced through foreign keys, as you've seen in the previous lessons of this chapter. So if you define a foreign key in a table professors referencing the table universities, referential integrity is held from professors to universities. Referential integrity can be violated in two ways. Let's say table A references table B. So if a record in table B that is already referenced from table A is deleted, you have a violation. On the other hand, if you try to insert a record in table A that refers to something that does not exist in table B, you also violate the principle. And that's the main reason for foreign keys. They will throw errors and stop you from accidentally doing these things. However, throwing an error is not the only option. If you specify a foreign key on a column, you can actually tell the database system what should happen if an entry in the reference table is deleted. By default, the onDelete no action keyword is automatically appended to a foreign key definition, like in the example here. This means that if you try to delete a record in table B, which is referenced from table A, the system will throw an error. However, there are other options. For example, there's the cascade option, which will first allow the deletion of the record in table B and then will automatically delete all referencing records in table A. So that deletion is cascaded. There are even more options. The restrict option is almost identical to the no action option. The differences are technical and beyond the scope of this course. More interesting is the set null option. It will set the value of the foreign key for this record to null. The set default option only works if you have specified a default value for a column. It automatically changes the referencing column to a certain default value if the referenced record is deleted. Setting default values is also beyond the scope of this course, but this option is still good to know. Let's practice this a bit and change the referential integrity behavior of your